Hello and welcome back to On the Workbench. Today we have what looks like a plain envelope in front of us here, but this is anything but plain. So this is a tool I ordered from Snap-on Tool. Uh, unfortunately, my, my wife got to the envelope first. This is the first time I've ever actually ordered anything from Snap-on, as opposed to getting something off of a truck. I don't have a lot of Snap-on tools around here, because I'm not sure they're always, can, they're always uh, the best bang for the buck. But if you're in the trades and you use them on a daily basis, totally different story, but the trades is not how I make a living on a day-to-day -day basis. And so in this plain envelope, which makes it kind of almost uh, unnoticeable to anyone passing by, we've got our tool inside, which is here, and we also have our invoice. So I think this is the invoice. Here we go. My total... $51.37 after tax, $46.75 for the part. Item number uh, FZ2. And so we open up our bag here. We've got a little styrofoam tray. I'm not sure that's entirely necessary for the packaging. We'll put that aside here. And what we get here is our 90 degree extension connectors. We have our snap-on packaging here. And these have a lifetime warranty, as with all Snap-on tools. We'll pull this out. And, on the, and then on the back here, you can begin to get an idea of what we're looking at. And these are two chrome versions. I don't believe these are available in Impact. And so what these are able to do, you can see it says Snap-on on the side right there. Individually, each of these is an, FZ, is an item number FZ1. They're made in the USA. And so what these allow you to do is to make a 90 degree turn in uh, your extensions or whatever you're working on to make uh, various combinations that are otherwise not possible. So if I've got a 3 8 extension, I can put this on the side like that, flip it on the side again, and then continue on with an extension like that, adding an offset. You know, particularly if you're working in some situation where you don't think a universal joint is going to be the right solution, this provides you some extra flexibility, particularly if we're looking at a crow's foot situation where you might have a crow's foot here. You can go down with your crow's foot. We can add long chrome extensions. We can make this infinitely long so we can have infinitely long wrench combined with a crow's foot, so we could just keep stacking these extensions on. Now at some point, I'm not sure what the actual breaking tension is of these uh, regular extensions, or you can use impact extensions. Uh, you can go with all sorts of options. What we can do here with this crow's foot, we can also put those two together and have an extra offset to further offset our crow's foot. We have all sorts of possibilities if we think about uh, how we can work around an obstruction. So if we take this like this, set it off, and you can see how we can have all sorts of combinations of ways with these. We'll make a 90 degree bend in our sockets or our socket adapters, and whether it's a crow's foot or a regular socket, it doesn't matter. You can do the same thing here if you're going to get around any sort of obstruction. So you can create your own obstruction avoiding contraption with your existing extensions, crow's feet, and sockets. And so I'm fascinated with what this will open up for what I can do. If you are using these with a torque wrench, you've got to pay attention to how you have these orientated with a torque wrench. I've got another video that explains the basics of how to use a torque wrench with crow's feet, and the same principle would apply here. So take a look at that video if you haven't seen that. And I hope you found this useful on the Snap-on FZ2 90-degree 3.8 adapter extension. And have a great day. Bye.